Hi everyone, today we're talking about preparing the adjusted trial balance and I'm your instructor Brandy. So up to this point you've learned how to take a source document to a journal entry, to the T account or ledger, to your unadjusted trial balance. Now today we're taking this even further and we are going from the unadjusted trial balance making adjustment to the adjusted trial balance. And this is your last step before you make financial statements. So you've already watched videos on how to make adjustments. We're focusing in this video on how to put those adjustments into an adjusted trial balance. So you should have no problem getting to this point, to the point that the unadjusted trial balance is filled out. Now we're focusing on taking the unadjusted trial balance, filling out the adjustments column, and taking it to the adjusted trial balance so we can make financial statements. Let's look at our adjustments. At December 31st, we have three adjusting journal entries we need to put into our trial balance. I've labeled the journal entries A, B, and C, so we can use those references on our trial balance to keep track of them. A is accruing revenue at year end, so revenue that has been earned but we haven't received the cash for yet, or we haven't billed yet. B is amortization of equipment, and C is accrual of salaries expense. So putting these journal entries into the adjustments column is quite easy. We're actually just going to copy the numbers into the debit and credit column into the appropriate accounts. So let's deal with journal entry A first. We have debit accounts receivable and credit service revenue for $9,500. If we go to our trial balance, we would put it in accounts receivable debit $9,500 and service revenue $9,500 and I'm labeling the numbers just so we can see that this is journal entry A. And that's it. Go back to your journal entry and check it off that we've dealt with it. Now let's do the next one, B. Debit amortization expense and ac credit accumulated amortization equipment for $1,000. And again, I'm just putting the letter beside the numbers so that we can see which journal entry this is for. Go back to your journal entries and check them off as being done. Now let's do C, debit salary expense, credit salary payable for $2,300. And go back to your adjusting entries and mark it off as being done. The next thing you're gonna do is add up all the debits and add up all the credits and double check, do they balance? And this ensures that we didn't make a mistake posting our journal entries to our trial balance. The next step is we are going to go across and calculate the adjusted trial balance total for each account. For each account, there will only be a debit or a credit balance. So for cash, we have $12,000 with no adjustments. So our balance is $12,000. For accounts receivable, we have a $5,500 debit and an adjustment of debit $9,500. If we have two debit, we add them together. If we have two credits, we add them together. And if there is a debit and a credit, we subtract them. So in this case, we have two debits, add them together, $9,500 plus $5,500. And we're going to do the same thing for each line. And finally, add up all the debits and all the credits for your adjusted trial balance and see, do they match? They balance. So this is the preparation of the adjusted trial balance. The next step you would do is you can make the financial statements out of this. And if we look just for a moment how the adjusted trial balance is set up, it's set up in a way to make making the financial statements really easy for us. I'm just going to move this off to the side so we can make some writing. If I draw a line through my trial balance, you'll notice that everything below this line is the income statement, revenues minus expenses. We're going to use a net income number you calculate from that. Revenues minus expenses gives you net income. And draw another line. And we're going to use the net income plus this information, the capital account and the withdrawals account to make the statement of owner's equity. When you figure out the ending balance in your capital account, you're going to take that as well as all the information at the top of the trial balance to make your balance sheet. So if you notice, your trial balance is set out assets first, then your liabilities, then your capital, then your revenues and expenses. Set out your trial balance this way every time and making the financial statements will be really easy for you. Thanks for watching everyone.